All right, guys. God bless you. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. I'm wearing purple. Let me show you the clothes I was wearing in that video where it looked like I was wearing purple, but there's a testimony that goes with this. Let me show you what I was wearing. You'll recognize it. You see that shirt right there? The Outer Banks Fire Department? Kill Devil Hills Fire Department? And I was wearing this black hat. I was not wearing purple, but... This hat Tammy and Cammy made for me. And uh, by the way, Tammy and Cammy, thank you so much. I saved this hat and I saved it for the trip because I knew when I got to Kill Double Hills, I was going to do a video and I wanted to wear purple for the very reason to tell y'all, guys, we're royalty. Uh, you know what? If you want to, you know that song, it's called Lord. Uh, and uh, it's called uh, Royals Will Never Be Royals. They know they'll never be royals. That Lux, it ain't for us. Lux, they're not talking about luxury. They're talking about light. Lux is also light. So anyway, I, I ordered this shirt off Amazon to take on this trip. It never showed up. I had It arrived at my hotel today. Corey sent it to me. I had planned on wearing this shirt in Kill Devil Hills to do a, a video about, you know, guys, the Lord sent me here. It's it's representative of killing the devil inside of us and overcoming the one that 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 had us in the trap. And I was going to wear purple. I was going to wear this shirt and this hat in Kill Devil Hills. But instead, I didn't have this shirt. It didn't show up in time for the trip. I wore this shirt and this hat, but it looked purple. Now, the testimony that I'm going to give you after I left Kill Devil Hills is all about royalty. <laughs> it's impossible. Okay, so I told, look, okay, I'm just going to try and, I don't have my plastic bag or brown paper bag to breathe in, but I'm going to take some deep breaths and just try and calmly, here we go. This is going to be crazy. Okay, so I told you it's going to be a little bit like a Quinn. I want to do a little bit like a Quinn Tarantino movie where we jump around. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the folder, the trip folder. This is the trip folder, and I started this folder for before the trip. It started right here. It started with the purchase, the trading in of the Royal Enfield for a Triumph. And the reason I did it is because I, I felt in my spirit the Lord was telling me it, it was okay to get rid of the bike. I gave you the testimony. I was going to go trade it with this guy I know for just a Yamaha, even trade. But when I went to get the Yamaha, it was gone. And uh, he, he was like, I'm sorry, Johnny, it's gone. I'm like, it's cool. The Lord didn't want me to have it. The Lord sent me over to where I got my trailer, the Kendon stand-up trailer that went to the desert. Remember the standing up again? Resurrection means the standing up again. Anyway. I can't go into all the minutia right now. If y'all don't know this, I'm sorry. But the people that know this, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so the Lord sent me over to get to the place where I bought the Kendon stand-up trailer. And when I got there, the guy Rick over there at the Triumph dealer is like, man, I'll make you an awesome deal on this Triumph. I've got the new one in, so I need to move this one. I said, well, will you take, a, will you take this Royal Enfield? He's like, sure. There was a recall notice on that motorcycle. It's it, That's supernatural, too, because the Lord was letting me know, I'm calling y'all back in. Who are you calling back in? The Royal Enfield. That's why in the book of John it says, my sheep go out. They can find pasture, and I call my own sheep by, they, by, by name. I'm the porter. I'm the door. And the porter opens the door. So now, okay, I'm just going to try and calm down. Okay, so I'm wearing purple. Because I had intended on wearing this in Kill Devil Hills because I was going to make a point. The point is going to make itself now because I'm wearing purple. And after I left Kill Devil Hills, the Lord put me up in a place in Jacksonville supernaturally where it was all about being royalty. And I'll get to that in a little while. Okay, now, here's the way we're going to do it. Let me just take a deep breath. There's so much information. Okay, let's do it with 
the number one thing the Lord told me I had to do. The number one, so this begins the trip folder, but I'm going to go to the end of the trip folder right here. And I put some pictures here. And here we go. The meaning of Marshall. The word Marshall means servant. And it means a high royal official. Okay. I had no idea any of this. Uh, you're, you're looking at, just remember, it's going to be like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay. The word Marshall means a servant, a high royal official. Okay. Let me show you what the number 614 means. Because this is going to come into play. 614, uh, I'm going to show you exit 614. See exit 614? And then I'm going to show you the meaning of 614 in the Bible. It means ingathering harvest. The, the wheat harvest in the Bible, it's the ingathering harvest, the end of the year. Now I'm going to show you my Bible that I opened up. And you, you'll get all these things in a particular order when it's time. When I, I open up my Bible to Zephaniah 3, and I'm just going to show you these. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because we'll get back to them. I'm just going to show you. Therefore, wait for me, says the Lord, until the day I rise up for plunder. My determination is to gather, na gather the nations to my assembly. Okay, now, in the very last part of, of Zephaniah, uh, I'm just going to. I have it photographed right here, but I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to like Bible Gateway and I'm going to show you. And like I said, we're going to jump around. So pay attention. It's going to be super cool. The restoration of Israel. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do KJV. Here we go. It's about the restoration of Israel. And let me go to the very end of Zephaniah, which is what the Lord showed me at the beginning of this trip or during this trip. At that time, I will bring you again. Even at that time, I gather you. For I will make you a name and praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Okay, now, like I said, what you're seeing is not in order right now. But you're seeing the word marshal means royal servant. You're seeing 614 means in gathering, the gathering of the wheat. You're seeing Zephaniah 3, the gathering of God's people, the restoration of Israel. You're seeing at the end of Zephaniah 3, I will gather you together. At that time, I will gather you all together. And then let me show you... Let me show you this picture here, right here. There's the picture from Kill Double Hills. And again, I'm right here holding them very close. I want you to take a good look at that. You're right, it looks all purple. I had intended on wearing purple, but these are those clothes. They are not purple. It's black and that's blue. And you can see that's, this is obviously purple. <laughs> just a different shade of purple but this is what I had intended on wearing when I was going to do that video but the Lord wasn't ready for me to wear purple yet but okay <laughs> here we go <sighs> okay guys so let me pull up the recording real quick here we go I'm going to I'm going to be very diligent about looking at this little red button Making sure it's all right. Okay, here we go. All right, so here we go. So before I went to Kill Devil Hills, and the Lord had told me that's where I want you to go. And I was like, you want me to go to Kill Devil Hills? Weird. Well, without getting into too much of the backstory, I already told you in a previous video, that had surfaced in the very beginning of my ministry right after I got saved. That's the only time I've seen Kill Devil Hills in my life. And the Lord told me, I want you to go there. Well, oddly enough, I had a dream one night, and it's one of these weird kind of dreams that I've had in the past. And when I have these dreams, things happen. I dreamt my dad died. 
uh, and the, the very morning my dad died, I called him because I woke up from a dream that he was dead in my dream. So it was very disturbing because it was one of those type dreams. And I called my dad. He didn't answer, answer the phone. Within an hour, I was over at my dad's house and he was dead on the floor exactly as in my dream. And I told you about, you know, uh, and when I was in Bozeman, Montana, y'all already know those testimonies. So when I have this type of dream, man, I'm, it's, it's very edgy. So anyway, I had a dream before I killed Devil Hills and the Lord had confirmed he wanted me to go there. And I said, look, if you, you, you really wanted me to go, um, can you confirm it? Uh, and one of the things I was asking him about was my motorcycle. I was like, do you, do you want me? It's like, I feel like you want me to get rid of my motorcycle or trade it or something. And next thing you know, I went from a Royal Enfield to a Triumph, which is really weird. I'm not a Royal Enfield or a Triumph guy. I'm a, I'm a GSXR 1100 guy. That's it. And, and I was like, wow, that's so crazy. I ended up with a Triumph. Now, listen, when I got the Triumph, I got a bill for my infinity rig for it being repacked at the same time. This is when the Lord's telling me, I want you to go to Kill Devil Hills. I want you to go. And I'm like going, okay, this is crazy. This is nuts. And then I'm like, uh, okay, Lord, so can you kind of confirm these things? Next thing you know, I get a recall notice from my Royal Enfield. So I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the Lord, right, get rid of the motorcycle. But he wants me to trade it. And I end up with a triumph. So I go from a Royal Enfield to a Triumph, and then I got my rig repacked because he told me to bring my rig, my skydiving rig with me, which is an Infinity rig, and I got it back, and the Lord told me, right in front of Corey, right in front of Corey as a witness, look up the number on your rig and the 1902 on your motorcycle. I got a bill from Figment Rigging for 110 and then I, on my motorcycle, it was 1902. Now, pay attention. Those numbers are going to circulate during this testimony again. It'll, in, a, in an area, you're just going to be, you're, you won't even believe it. I couldn't believe it. So let me show you what those mean real quick. Because I'm like, why do you, you want me to look up the, num, the, the meaning of 1902, which is plastered on the Triumph motorcycle? Now, don't forget, I'm going to kill Devil Hills. I know the meaning. We have triumphed over the enemy. We've triumphed over the devil. We're royalty. I know what it means, but I'm just getting to where I'm like, okay, this is what you want me to do. And these are the things that he's orchestrating. In just a minute, I'm going to play a little audio that I, I did before this with Billy and Corey. So you can hear from, you know, some witnesses that were, uh, that were part of the part of the program before I was going. I was talking to Billy. I was talking to Corey. They were watching it all kind of manifest and, and happen. So now watch this. Let me show you this real quick. Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let me shut that down. That's going to be in there. Hang on one sec. Here we go. Ready? Okay, here we go. Let's go right here, right here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this is this is the Royal Enfield. I went from this, I went from this to this, and he told me this was very important. I'm like, that's very important. The 1902. I'm like, okay. He told me that's important. Pay attention. And then at the same time, I was getting this ready. My infinity rig showed up from uh, the guy that was repacking my reserve, and it was from Figment Rigging right here, Figment Rigging, and it was 110. And this was at the time I was getting things ready to go. Now, let me show you what it all means. And this is, again, you have to understand in preparation for what I'm doing, these things are happening. And then I have this dream, and I'm going to share the dream with you in just a minute. I recorded it. And then we're just going to crack this whole thing open. Now, guys, like I said, this is going to roll out. You may be like, what's going to just wait. <laughs> you know, just wait. Okay, so when I heard him say look up 1902, I thought that's kind of weird. Okay, but I looked, uh, looked it up. It says, I have on over. I have on over as a garment. I put on myself in addition. It means to clothe oneself, emphasizing the personal choice 
the heart's desire that strongly yearns to be aptly clothed. It refers to the glorified body the Lord gives, puts on each believer at Christ's return. Now remember this, don't forget the number 1902. At the very beginning, before I've even left for the trip, I'm trading in the Royal Enfield for a triumph. He told me to do it. I was like, okay. And then he tells me 1902 is very, very significant. And then he tells me, look at your rig. It Don't forget, it's an affinity. Now, 1902, what does it mean? It means to clothe oneself, emphasizing the personal choice, heart's desire that strongly yearns to be aptly clothed, referring to the glorified body the Lord gives or puts on, puts on, to put on each believer at Christ's return. That's what 1902 means. That was on the triumph, referencing referencing that we've triumphed over the enemy by clothing ourselves with Christ, our glorified body, and... Then let me show you 110. To put on immortality. The word is Anastasia, Athanasia. It means without death. Properly immortality, literally without death, referring to the unique glorification awarded to each believer at the Lord's return. What do you notice is the common denominator between those two things? They both have to do with being clothed with immortality at the Lord's return. At the very beginning, before I even completely confirmed that I'm leaving. These are the things leading up. So then I said, okay, this is getting pretty weird, man. And then I said, okay, Lord, it would be super cool if you could just somehow, I mean, you're sending me to kill Devil Hills. I was like, man, it would be so cool if just somehow you could show me the devil getting killed. I mean, <laughs> then I would know for sure. Within, I think, two days, I get a text message from a friend of mine named Kay. And I I don't talk to Kay all the time. Every now and then he drops in, you know. But it's, you know, few and far between that I hear from Kay. Kay texts me the Little Nas video. And, and he's like, look how blatant they're getting, Johnny. And I look at the Little Nas video. You know, y'all know I broke it down. What happens at the Little Nas video in the end of the Little Nas video? The devil gets killed. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, so right here, Little Nas kills the devil and he puts on his horn. His horns, notice they're made out of braided hair like female. Because female energy is what's taken over this whole thing. Watch. No volume, just watch what he does. He kills the devil. And that's when I said, wow, I'm going to kill Devil Hills. Okay, so there you go. So we don't need to see that anymore. So now, at that at that point, the Lord had me completely convinced. Now I have to. Now there's no way out of it. I'm going to kill Devil Hills no matter what. Okay, but then I, ha I have this dream. Let me share the dream with you. Okay, this is a recording. I sat up in my bed just like, the dream I had when my dad died or like the dream I had when I was in Bozeman, Montana. They're, the, they're a very specific kind of dream. I've had them a handful of times. And every time I have them, they are just, it's, it's almost frightening because they happen. And it's like, it's, anyway. So when I had this dream and I woke up from this dream that I was in Kill Devil Hills, I was in these hills. I was on the top of a hill. I was on the top of a hill. And it was kind of reminded me of Grand Junction, but I'm on top of this hill and these people had come up and they're like, Johnny, don't go down. They're waiting for you in the parking lot. They're, they're like these people from the occult. They're not going to let you leave. And I said, I don't care. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not, I don't care. And so I walk down this hill and I'm confronted by two guys and a girl. And I know what it represents. It represents the beginning of the system, two and one. And so I'm, I'm confronted by these two guys. It represents... The angel of the Lord impregnating Eve, and then it re represents Adam impregnating Eve, and it represents Eve, and it represents the system, two in one, because Eve was impregnated by the angel of the Lord, the serpent race, and then she was impregnated by Adam. That's why the first two twins were heteropaternal superfecundation twins. Hang on one sec.
so anyway, without getting into all the, the symbology and, you know, the two males and a female don't need to get into all of it, doesn't matter. The point is I'm confronted by the beginning of the system that kept us slaves. And when I, when I walk down this hill, so I'm on the top of this hill and I walk down to the parking lot and there's these two guys and this girl and they totally look like zombies and they're just evil, evil, evil looking. And I look at them and I'm like, so what's up? And then this guy just pulls out a gun and he goes, and he shoots. And I just look at the guy and I'm, and I look down and I'm like, it doesn't phase me. And I look at him and I go, okay, because you've rebelled against the Lord, you're, you you're, you'll, you'll all break out in boils. And they just started popping boils over their whole face and on their body, and they were in pain. They are like, oh, and they were freaking out. And they are like, oh, wait. And then I looked at him very calmly. I wasn't mad, just very matter of fact. I looked at him, and I said, now get on your knees. And they didn't want to go to their knees. They were like, oh, and so they struggled down to their knees fighting it, and they got on their knees. And then I looked at him, and I said, now kill yourself, kill each, kill each other. And I just walked off and they, they and they started murdering each other. Wait, I know what that means though. I know what's going to happen when the rapture happens, when the bride leaves, it's going to be there. That other race, everybody's going to turn on everybody and they're all going to start killing each other. So anyway, so that's what happens in my dream. And I just sit straight up and I'm like, <gasps> cause it was so real. And I already knew I was going to kill devil Hills. I'm like, what the hell, man? That was one of those dreams. Uh Oh, <laughs> so I'm like, great. I get to go to kill devil Hills <laughs> and that's what's on my plate. I was just like, Ugh. all right, whatever. But I'm willing to go anyway, just like I was willing to go die in the desert. I don't care. I was like, all right, whatever, let's do it. So anyway, when I sit up from that dream, I hear the Lord tell me, document it. And so he tells me, screenshot the time. It was, I screenshotted 4.16. Uh, it was 4.15 when, when I sat up. It took me about, you know, 30, 30 seconds to less than a minute to find my phone and, and screenshot the time. Then he says, look it up. Look up the time on my phone. Then he said, and he tells me to do that in the morning. At 4.17 a.m., I'm talking while I'm holding my cell phone, I get a text message. What? At 4.17 a.m., it says, Zana, Z-A-N-A, Voyeur, and then there's a number on it. Let's go look at the number real quick. So I'm, I'm just sitting there like, what the hell is going on? Okay, let me show you right here. So I sit up at 416. I screenshotted it. Okay, so there it is. May 12th. Uh, I think posted on May 12th, uh, 2021. Or that may have... Or no, it was... There it is. April 25th is when I screenshotted it. Screenshot April 25th. I was like, May 12th doesn't sound right. So I screenshotted that. April 25th is when I had a dream. And then watch this. Here are my text messages. Look at this. 4.17 a.m. Literally right, right then at the same moment I'm waking up from this crazy dream. I get a text message and it says Xana Voyeur. And then let's see, what's the number? 1566. Okay, the Lord told me, look it all up. Zana me and let me let me just go through it all and then we're gonna get Corey and Billy in for a testimony real quick. So God is gracious. The name Zana means God is gracious. Voyeur. Uh the word voyeur came in English in the twentieth century. French word voyeur means to see. It's someone who watches. Do y'all remember do you remember the one hour photo video I showed you? The one the movie one hour photo with Robin Williams, you know, who hung himself and it was it was gaslighted right in that movie. The time the number on the door means to hang oneself and Robin Williams hung himself. Okay, that's a voyeur, someone who watches other people kind of like the ultimate voyeur is the angel of the bottomless pit. Okay, watch this. Now then the number then 1566 means to expose and to lay bare. 
And when I woke up and I started looking at like, because I documented, I went back to sleep. I was like, I'll just get this when I get up in the morning. And when I got up in the morning, the Lord told me, look it up, pay attention. And I looked it up and he, he showed me, you're going to kill Devil Hills because that's what I've used you for, to kill the devil, to lay his kingdom bare. That's the way you kill him. You expose his hidden kingdom and that's what I was used for. And I was like, okay. So I'm like, I'm already going. I know I'm going. It's like, it's a done deal. I'm going to kill Devil Hills. But it was very disturbing because that means, well, I may be met with some hostile opposition while I'm there. And the Lord told me no weapons on this trip. I mean, normally if someone would have rolled up on me, it would have been a bad, bad thing for him. But the Lord said, no weapon at all. You're just going to trust me. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, the dream was a little sketchy, right? <laughs> it's like, just do it. I'm like, all right. So here we go. Watch this. Now, then here's the next thing. I'm at the store. I said, Lauren, I'm already going. You got me. I'm, on, I'm, I'm there. And I walked through the checkout. It says on the road again, time for a road trip. And here's where things got really weird. I've already I've already made the decision. I've said I'm I'm going. You convinced me. I saw little Naz. I saw the devil get killed. I'm going to kill Devil Hills. I had the dream. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Road trip. I'm going. And so now, I go over to this guy that does the vinyl for my vehicles, and I said uh, I went over there and his name's Lee. And he's like, hey Johnny, he's putting some stuff on one of my motorcycle helmets, and he said, hey Johnny. I'm going to open up a place in Marshall, Texas. I don't know if you're interested, but I'm looking for investors. And I was like, oh, wow. He goes, it's right by Longview. And I go, wow, that's really weird. I just talked to a friend of mine, Billy Lojak. Yesterday, I'm driving through Longview, Texas in two days. And he goes, oh, wow, yeah, it's right there next to Longview. That's where I'm going to open a satellite, you know, uh, signage business. So I was like, oh, okay. And I said, that's kind of weird that you would mention that. And I'm going there in the next day. So I call, I leave there and I call Billy. And I go, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to be coming through there on Monday. So let's get together. And he's like, for sure. And so then when I leave, I hear the Lord tell me, you have to go to Marshall, Texas. I'm like, you want me to go to Marshall, Texas? Well, Marshall's kind of in the general vicinity of Longview, Texas. It's just right down the road, really. And uh, so I said, well, okay, this is what I hear the Lord telling me. So I called Billy and I say, hey, Billy, look, I'm coming to Longview to just say hi. He's a friend of mine and I want to see him. I know the end's here and I, I probably won't get to see him again. And so I said, hey, Billy, I'm going to come by and I'm going to see you. I got to go to Marshall, Texas. I don't know what that's all about. But the Lord said, I have to go. And so... I'm going to go on Monday morning. That's a plan. But then my plans change. The Lord just keeps changing my timing and everything. And next thing you know, I'm leaving Sunday instead of Monday. But I was going to leave at 4.30 a.m. So I called Billy on Saturday and I said, hey, I'm going to be leaving on Sunday, 4.30 a.m. And he goes, yeah, that's kind of a conflict because I have my mother coming over for Mother's Day. And his wife's not, you know, she, she doesn't like me so much. So anyway, I said, I don't want to cause any conflict. And I said, no worries. Well, you know, if the Lord wants it to happen, it'll happen. Well, next thing you know, come Sunday morning, I couldn't get out of there by 4.30 a.m. because I was up till 1 a.m. So I had to leave about 7.30. So I called Billy and I said, hey, plans have changed. I'm on the road now. And Billy goes, great, man, I'll, I'll meet you at this truck stop. So I meet Billy at the truck stop and I'm like, it's so weird. I have to go to Marshall, Texas. I don't know what that's all about. And while I'm sitting there talking to Billy about all this supernatural crazy stuff that's going on all the time, Billy just starts laughing and I'm like, what's up? And he, he, he goes, I was just, the Lord just led me to look up the exits because he's going to tell me where to go. He's like, you got to go down this highway. And uh, he looked up the exits, exit for 614, exit, exit 614. Okay, remember when I started this video, I showed you 614, the end gathering. The word marshal means royal servant. <laughs> that's why I'm wearing purple. It's going to get really good, folks. It's like there's a lot to unpack here. So I was like, okay, so the Lord says, look up Marshall. 
Let's do that one more time. Let's look up Marshall one more time. Let's do that. Here we go. Guys, there's going to be so much insanely cool data in here. You're going to freak out. Here we go. Here's Marshall. So I, let's look at it. Marshall means a servant, a high royal official. Okay, just remember, this is the beginning of the trip. And then 614, exit 614 is what you take to go into Marshall, Texas. And 614 means the in-gathering harvest. Something I didn't show you when I when I was when I was doing this is I got a text message and I'm gonna I'm gonna be very blunt right now. When anybody, I mean anybody crashes my phone, I think very little of them doing it. I mean I'm like it's wrong on so many levels. It's like kicking down my front door and I just think, you know what? I hope someone just comes and pushes your front door open so you can see what it's like. I don't like it at all. I find it repugnant. I don't. I find it repugnant. It breaks the number one rule of Christianity, do unto others. Oh, you wouldn't want someone just barreling through your front door, would you? No. And I have it so much, it's absurd. So anyway, if anyone tries to just call my phone or something because you got to tell me something, just leave it in the comment on, on all the videos I do. You know, leave the same comment three times in a row, and if the Lord leads me to, then I'll get to it. But to call my phone or to find my phone or to find my address and, and that kind of stuff, that's just wrong, okay, in a story. But I get a text message. At some point during this Quentin Tarantino delivery year, and I get a text message, and it's a text message that was uninvited, unknown. And it... I would gone to bed early that night, which rarely happens. I rarely get to bed early. I was so exhausted. I think I was out by eight o'clock and I slept till the next morning till eight. And when I woke up, I saw I had a text message at 12 a.m., which makes it even worse. Someone texting me, kicking down my door at 12 a.m. And when I woke up in the morning and I saw it, I was just going to delete it with hostility like, eh. But I heard the Lord say, stop, I want you to call this person. I was like, really? You want me to call somebody that violated my number one rule? Don't do it. I want you to call this person. I said, all right, let me show you the text message. It says, um, let me uh, go back. My name is Becky Roden. I've been listening to, to God speak through you for about three years now, and I'm a subscriber. But God has kept me silent until now. I know you speak the truth and nothing but the truth from our Father. I've been hidden, but now my comment to you. Dad said to tell you I grew up on 154 Isabel Road, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I moved there when I was 7 years old. Moved out when I was 17 years old. Here's the kicker. Isabel comes up, comes up as Isabella in the Bible, which stands for God's perfection. Oh, it's interesting. It's all capital. Uh, I'm going to interject real quick. You're going to see God's perfection in this video. I guarantee it. You're going to see God's perfection in this video. I mean, already the purple thing, when you see what happens, I've already dropped so many bombs you don't know are going to explode during the production of this video. When, it, when they explode, you're going to be like, <laughs> you will, you're going to be freaked out. I was. So it says, which stands for God's perfection. As I'm sitting here telling my daughter who is trying, typing this to you now, she knows I have been talking for about a month or longer how God is, okay, now let me go look at the other part here, how God is, let's see, how God is, let's see, how God is gathering us all up. Now, I want you to look right here, look. She knows I have been talking for about a month or longer how God is gathering us all up. It was truly confirmed when my old friend Jonathan Bond found me out. Apparently, Jonathan Bond's a songwriter, uh, performer. My friend Jonathan Bond found me out of nowhere and visited. Come to find out he knows you. God has confirmed we are being gathered. 
what was the first thing I had to do on the road trip? I had to go to a place called Marshall, Texas. Didn't know why, but he said, you have to. I met Billy. I am Billy's like was led to look up 614, which means the in gathering, the wheat harvest. This came down the road when I start doing the chronological time thing. When you see where this came in, you're going to be like. So this is what probably one of the only times I've ever accepted texts from somebody that just tried to text me. And if you've tried to text me and you know I haven't called you back because I abhor it. I hate it. I hate it when somebody does it. This is the one time that the Lord told me to do it, to go ahead. And if it happens here in the future, it's not even going to be questionable. I won't even look. I'll just delete them if somebody does it. So, of course, unless I just start buzzing all over and the Lord says, okay, do it. But I, that's, it's happened one. I very clearly, listen, do you see me stop right there? I just, I heard the Lord say, it won't be me just now, right now, during this video. Okay, I have an open door. Do you believe me? Do you believe that I have an open door to the throne room? Do you believe that? I'm an end time prophet, guys. The night I got saved, I got saved in the presence of an angel that stepped up to me and said, pray with me, my brother, because that angel is royalty. His name's Michael. He stepped up and said, pray with me, my brother. It's in my testimony that the Lord made me put on YouTube um, a decade ago or something. I've been over that testimony so many times. I've, it's been exactly the same every time I've told it to you because it's true. Pray with me, my brother, in the back of the alley. Our father, water and light came down on me. You don't think I knew I was an angel the second I got saved? Are you kidding? Pray with me, my brother. I'm praying with an angel. Pray with me, my brother. Just wait. You're going to know why I'm wearing purple later. <laughs> uh, it's going to get real good. So anyway, like I said, this is the one text message where I've said, okay, I'll respond uh, when I say it's the one, there's been ones in the way in the past, but I've learned I just don't do it. Neither will I. And I just heard the Lord tell me, don't do it. Revelation three. I have placed before you an open door that no man can shut. He's talking to the angel of the church of Philadelphia. The one that has the key of David, the key of love that opens the door. What do you think the Lord gave me? That's how I open the door for everybody. You turn everything up and you can see the truth because you got inverted when you came into the system. You got inverted with your own twin. And so in order for you to get out of here, you, you get inverted the other direction. And then the two become one. It's the greatest mystery ever solved. It's proven. The Lord's let me prove it. And I have a testimony from Kill Devil Hills that's going to freak you out. <laughs> It's going to blow your mind. Okay, so God has confirmed we're being gathered. He confirmed your ministry is perfected, brother. Okay, you're not going to believe that. See the word perfected? That's going to come in again during this ministry. You're not, I mean, during this video. And this may have to be in two parts. I'll try and crank out three or four hours tonight if I can. Because there's so much. It's it's an overflow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, earlier today, I called Billy and I called Corey and I said, hey guys, let me just record you guys real quick so I can insert it into my video so people can hear from other, you know, testimony from other voices. Now look, I'm sorry, you can hear them, turn your volume up all the way, but it's, you know, I can hear them just fine. But, you know, I know how people get, oh, turn it up again. It's the best I could do. Okay, so I'm going to insert their little video, right? Their little audio. Ready? So here we go. Let me insert that. Okay, so you can see this is a private video. It says private right here. I just recorded it a little while ago, May 19th, 2021. It's called Marshall, Texas, The In Gathering. Okay, so this is going to be Corey. So this is going to be Corey and Billy. 
and I'm calling them to use them as witnesses so you can hear from other people because it, I believe it's really important. Look, guys, you know, when I have people around me, if you've been around or if you were in Grand Junction, if you've been around, you've seen the supernatural, you know, it, it be, there was a rainstorm. There was a thunder shower over a backyard full of people that got that were asking me to baptize them. And I said, guys, I, I just can't do a, a baptismal thing. I, and I, I, was, I, had a, I had a microphone. I said, guys, people have asked me to baptize them. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. A thunderstorm came over and baptized everybody in the backyard. <laughs> it was raining in the backyard, but not on the street. <laughs> These things happen. And then it rains. I mean, it was just a quick whoosh. And it, big drops, but people weren't soaked but you got hit with rain and it was sunny out and then it was gone when people were asking me to baptize them that's a fact it's a documented fact so this miracles follow me here we go it's the lord i'm his servant purple servant <laughs> now i know exactly who i am okay here we go all right let's listen to Corey and let's listen to billy right now here we go Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna merge our I merged our calls together. Billy, are you there? Yes. All right, hey Corey, are you there? Yep. All right, cool. So okay, guys, we're just like pre-recorded. We're just kicking it around. I just want everybody to know that there's some witnesses, and that's it. Just so so. Hey, uh, Billy. Hey. Hi, Corey. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Corey. Good. What's going on, brother? Yeah, oh, I'm doing well, brother. Hope you hope you're doing well as well. So yeah, just chilling. So okay, so hey, everybody, nobody be stiff. Just everybody, just relax and let's have fun. Okay, so here's the deal. So I'm just okay, guys. Now I'm speaking to the general audience. I'm recording this on my on my computer screen so here's the deal everybody i got billy and i got Corey on the phone with me and the reason i got them on the phone is because i want to have witnesses to begin this video because before i started out on this trip um cory gets to see on a daily what happens in my life and i've known billy for what a long quite a while billy so yeah years and years and years billy help me level the land yeah hey help me level the land to put the first shipping container on that and anyway so anyway but these guys are witnesses and so before we start as witnesses okay Corey and billy you guys know everything we talk if there's anything that's not 100 percent true you won't go along with it correct that's no. correct all right all right so we're only going to just speak truth that's it all right, so let's start with this. First of all, Corey, mm -hmm. just briefly, so you've been around since basically the end of July helping me with a project, and you yeah. just, the Lord just opened the door for you to hang out. Just, right. if you just had to tell everybody, like you're just telling her, like, what is just your your take on a daily, like weekly, spiritual miraculous stuff since you've been living with me i don't really know i'll do the best i can because honestly i don't know that i could accurately describe how supernatural right this is um you know i was telling one of our brothers and sisters the other day this is exactly what i told him i'm i was like i've been here for just like you said since basically July first first part of August, but the last several months. I mean, I know that you speak to the Lord, and I know you hear the Lord's voice. So that I'm not. I don't ever question that, and I've seen it over and over and over again. But this is what I will say: It seems to me, in my personal opinion, as a witness, 100% no line, that I have seen the connectivity where you'll ask the Lord a question. And the answers are so precise, so direct, so on point. It's not even, it's mind boggling. And it seems as though, in my personal opinion, that it's ramped up over the past 
several months even before you went on this journey. So now I wasn't with you when you went to Chinati, but I was with you on the phone with Kat all pretty much the whole journey. But I can say this that as soon as you left, it started and I know it started way before you even left, but I'm just saying as soon as you left, it was it just happened so quick, the supernatural boom, and I know you're gonna get into it. Yeah. Really, and I'll let him do all that. But I'm just I just want everybody to know that the rock and the tarp at Chinati, that's impossible and that's very hard to beat. But I can say <laughs> that if I take those two things out of the equation, it's this stuff that's happened since you've left here, the whole trip is over and above that. That's what I will say. 100% no lying. Out of the ballpark crazy. Yeah, so it's, so it's fair for me to say that since you've been, since you've been around and you've gotten to witness things as a witness and you stand before the Lord with 100% truth, just as a bystander witness, what you've seen on a, just on a regular basis is just almost beyond supernatural. It is, and I'm buzzing hard right now. Yeah, and and then I, I I keep tabs with you as I'm on the journey, and I share the pictures and I share the information as it happens, like on the fly, so you get to see it. I send you the images, so you send them to Dave, and I keep you in on everything. But you've seen it firsthand when I'm there with you too, correct? Absolutely, yeah. All right, cool. And it's totally ramped up since I left on this particular journey. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's. I don't know how you can beat the two rocks and the tarp. Yeah. Half of it was dirty, half of it was clean. That right there is crazy enough. But all the stuff that's happened on your trip, total... <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. It sounds it sounds like me because I do the same thing. I'm like, uh, Corey, I think I gotta lay down. <laughs> yeah, and I had to lay down several times just from you know, things that the Lord has shown you scripturally in the morning and throughout the day and just there's been days where I've asked I've had to lay down several times during the day because spiritually it does it wipes you out. It's so crazy. It's so mind boggling that you got to just sit there and like absorb it. It's crazy. So one last thing. So Billy, and then we're going to talk about, uh, where I, that I came to see you on the first leg of the journey. But, um, so it's fair to say, it's fair to say that while you're around, while we're around together, when we're, you know, when in each other's presence, you've actually seen live on the fly communication, right before your eyes, instantaneous uh, instantaneous response from the Lord in a way that's so supernatural, it's in, impossible to deny. Is that accurate? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, just mm -hmm. driving and it's happened when we were driving, you're driving the truck and you'll ask the Lord and then boom, it just happens. It's like... Yeah, or the, or the, or the scriptures in the house and then boom, he just yeah. nails it right then and there, yeah. Okay, so, so uh, an accurate description would be an open door. So, well, what question? Yeah, okay. I mean, no question. It's like an open freeway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. That's Revelation three, guys. I place before you an open door that no man can shut. I know you have little strength, but you have kept the word of my patience. Therefore, I'll keep you from the hour of testing. So that's kind of what we're talking about. Okay. So now, Billy. So okay, Corey. So let's just go, Billy. You. I'm gonna set up your whole thing. So, but I'm gonna do it real quick. Before I left on the trip, I went by the guy that does my signage, uh, does all my vinyl for my old vehicles and for the for the truck I'm in. And I went by, he's going to put some stuff on my helmet. And he uh, he said, hey, if you're interested, I'm going to uh, open a satellite office in Marshall, Texas by Longview. And I go, that's really weird. I was just talking to my friend yesterday named Billy Lojak, who lives in Longview. And I was going to go see him in a couple days. And Billy, I'd called you before um, my friend Lee made that made that uh, statement. He was actually trying to get me to jump in on his sign company. He wanted an investor, and I just told him that's probably not my thing. But he was he was telling me his plans to open a place in Marshall, Texas, uh, the day after I talked to you, and I had mentioned to you. 
I want to I want to make a quick addendum when I when I said that to Corey when I said I told uh, Lee that's probably not my thing that's not entirely accurate so I wanted to I always correct something I taught what I did is I was showing him how to protect what he was trying to do because I have the intellectual uh, property knowledge to help him however financially it's not something I'm I'm gonna even think about doing but I told him I would help him and show him the pitfalls uh, because of the knowledge I have from previous Vlad eyewear business. So if I hear something and it's not 100% accurate, I stop. And so I'm doing that right now. So here we go. It's like my journey. Does that sound right? Okay, let me let me get back right here for one sec, guys. Let's pick it up right here made that uh, statement he was actually trying to get me to jump in on his sign company he wanted to an investor and I just told him that's probably not my thing but he was he was telling me his plans to open a place in Marshall Texas uh, the day after I talked to you and I had mentioned to you that I was gonna come see you on the first leg of my journey does that sound right yes okay so so my plan was to leave Monday morning and I was gonna I was gonna leave Monday at like 4:30 a.m. and then I planned on seeing you around 11:30 or so, and we're gonna get together. But then my 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 whole thing changed, and I called you the day before I left, and I said, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna be leaving on Sunday," but that conflicted with Mother's Day because you had your mom coming over, and so I told you I said, "Well, if it works out, great. If it doesn't," That's cool too because the Lord told me I have to go to Marshall, Texas. Is that true yep. or not true? Yep, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just tell everybody what happened. So things changed a little bit, schedule changed, and then we met up. Yeah, because I mean, the first at first, you know, you really didn't know which direction you were going, you were going to go, and and really it wasn't it set in stone that you were going to come through here to begin with. Like, you know. Days before. Well, I, I, but, well, well, hang on, back up. I told you, hey, I'm going to stop and, and see you on the way out, correct? Yeah, yeah, you did. But, I mean, even way before that, though, I knew you were come, going to North Carolina, but, you know, wasn't set in stone. But then, yes, you did say, I'm coming through. And then it was like, okay, I'm coming a day early. And so we met up. And <clears throat> but, then, hey, but, hang on, look, I just want to make it clear for everybody. Did I tell you the Lord told me I have to go to some place called Marshall, yes. Texas? Yes or no? Yep. So before I even showed up to see you, I told you, yeah, the Lord told me I got to go to some place called Marshall, Texas anyway, yeah. which is yeah. how far is that from where you're at? Uh, 20 miles. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So then, so then our little plan worked out. You had Mother's Day. I left later uh, Sunday morning than I planned. I was going to leave at 4 a.m. I didn't leave till about 7.30 or 8. So I rolled in there uh, much later, and your Mother's Day get-together had already happened, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, now, so then we met at a truck stop, which just happened to be right on the road to where? <laughs> Marshall, Texas. <laughs> right, okay. uh, All right. And so you and I just sat down and we were just kind of kicking it around, having a little snack. And I told you, you know, I, I just, I'm convinced that this is the last trip. I, I don't know for sure, but it sure seems like this is, this is the end of the road for yep. the ministry, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So then what happened? Just tell everybody what happened. We're sitting at the table. Yeah, and, and you were telling me about um, what Marshall meant, and, you know, we were just talking, and I was listening, but all of a sudden, in my spirit, I, I just, in my spirit, man, I heard, you know, look up the, the exits for Marshall, Texas, and it was 614, 617, well, 614 is the first exit, so I looked. You kind of breaking up, Billy. I, I said, I, yeah, I said I'm just I'm 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 listening. Keep talking, and you were talking, and I just I, but I didn't tell you I was looking it up. Right. I didn't tell you that till later. I didn't come to find out. It means I believe in the. It means in it means in gathering, gathering together. Right. The harvest, in gathering, harvest. Yeah. 
So, sure so the very first stop on my journey for this whole thing was to see you and just say hi because we're friends. And I right. told you, the Lord told me I had to go to Marshall, Texas. I didn't know yeah. why, but he said I had to. And then you were just led to look up the exit and it was, I had to get off on 614, right? Yep. Yeah, exit 614. And then in the Bible, 614 means in gathering. Does that sound right? Yep. And gathering together okay so i'm just documenting it guys because i want people i just want people to have a, other voices other witnesses i mean anything you want to say billy just to you know just if you were talking to everybody out there that watches these vids is there anything you would want to tell them right now if these are the last videos i'm doing well i i, I like to confirm what Corey said first and foremost uh, because pretty much immediately when i met you at your old place the first time I met you, we were sitting there talking and um, you, we were just hanging around and all of a sudden you just opened the Bible and turned it to a, a page in the Bible, just opened it. And uh, you'd been praying about something and I didn't know it, but then you showed me what it was later and I saw it happen multiple times. So I had to agree that that happens quite often, you know. Yeah, so it you get... Matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter when or where, you know, if you're praying about something, it, it does usually get confirmation pretty quick, so. Amen. All right. Well, the yeah, thing. So, you know, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, the thing I just want everyone to know, I just want everyone to know, guys, there's no way in God's green earth that I would even think to go to Marshall, Texas. I don't even know what's in Marshall, Texas. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then when I was taking the turn to just to go to Longview, which it was, uh, you know, still five hours from where you and Marshall are, I, I said, Hey, I got to get off in some place called Huto. And I took, I took the wrong exit and I called you up cause I, I, I knew I'd probably gone the wrong way to get directions from you. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll tell every, I'll tell everybody about that. That was uh, yeah. St. Ledger, I think street. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just, like I said, guys, I'm just trying to document it with other witnesses and then, I'm going to throw this in the video. I'm just going to throw this in the vid so everybody can hear it. Okay, anybody want to say anything to anybody out there in the crazy world, <laughs> crazy land? I just got to say, for everybody out there, the whole church, I know it's crazy, but the Lord's got this 100%. So just walk it out, stay connected to him, stay close to him, and just be obedient in all things in Christ. Amen. There you go. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you, man. Sorry, I hope I'm not talking too fast. I'm just trying to keep the time down because I know I probably got like three hours of this. No worries, brother. God bless you guys. I love you guys. All right. You as well, brother. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay, so real quick. So that's just the reason I did that is because, look, I mean, I know I could tell you the story myself. But to hear other people's voices and to hear other people, you know, just it, it helps mentally for people to understand, look, these are people that have witnessed, I mean, they witness supernatural, Corey gets to see it on a daily basis, Clay used to get to see it on a daily basis, um, but it's beyond what, it's beyond what's even conceptual for most people you can't conceive the way my world is you can't you have to be there i'm telling you if you're not there and you don't just get see it i know i do these vids and i'm like okay guys here's what happened and i'm doing the best i can do but the thing is there is a dynamic that happens while it's going on there's a presence and it's the presence of the lord and that presence literally makes things happen in front of you on the fly. I've never seen it. it's it's insane. It's I'll tell you one thing, I'll be honest. It's scary. If you're on the wrong end of it, if you're on the wrong end of the Lord God, I can't even imagine. I would rather face a zombie army than to be on the wrong side of the Lord God. Anything. Because I've seen his, I've, I've seen his miracles. I see how he's in control and you do not want to be on the wrong side of it. Okay. 
I just wanted to document that real quick. It all started with go to Marshall, Texas. That's what this whole trip, I mean, the whole thing was about. I had to go to Kill Devil Hills. That's where I had to go. That's where the trip was to. And then after I went to Kill Devil Hills, then I had a personal thing to go with one of my children, to go meet my, one of my children. And so the Lord orchestrated the whole thing. He set the schedule. I mean to a T, he set my schedule. And so on the, the way it all began was, you know, I was making plans. I was like, hey, I'm going to do this on this schedule. And the schedule would change. And it would change according to circumstances that I was not in control of. And so I was like, well, I just got to roll with it. Just like going to meet Billy. Had I gone to Marshall another way, I would not have had exit 614. Would not have. I already knew in my spirit that the time of the gathering is here. Okay, now, I told you I was going to do this kind of like a Quentin Tarantino movie, right? Okay, this is just a little clip that I'm saving right now, and you're seeing it get inserted, okay, because this has been recorded, and I'm already doing the video, and I'm getting ready to insert this part. I know it's like Quinn Tarantino. Yeah, where are we? What to, what what part of the timeline are we on? Don't worry. It's all going to happen. So anyway, the whole thing is about this. It's about the gathering of God's people. It's about gathering his people together and coming against the enemy and destroying the enemy, killing the devil. Kill Devil Hills. Okay, now. Okay, that's the little insert. Okay, now I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to shower. I'm going to grab some food. Then I'm going to come back and do the part that you just saw before this. <laughs> Which cups and under. Okay, so anyway, there it is. And now I'll pick it all up. Okay, so. I'm sorry that it was a little, drug, a little drug out, but it's important. Now, so all you've really gotten is this. I showed you the, I told you the trip started with the Royal Enfield. Get rid of the Royal Enfield. Get a Triumph. Look up 1902. Here's your rig. It's an infinity. Get it, infinity. We live forever, guys. We never die. Infinity. Get your infinity rig. Look up 110 to clothe yourself with immortality. 1902 to clothe yourself with immortality, to clothe yourself with Christ. What do you think the odds are that 1902 and 110 mean the same thing? A, a Triumph motorcycle, 1902, to be clothed upon with Christ at his return. 110 to be clothed with immortality. I wonder what the odds are on that. That's before I got started. I wonder what the odds are that. I said, you want me to go to Kill Devil Hills? And I said, maybe you could show me the devil getting killed. And then the little Naz gets killed in a, uh, the devil gets killed in a little Naz video two days later. I wonder what the odds are that, you know, I have a dream like when my dad died and I'd sit up in my bed and I document, ready for this? That, that, that number 416, I was like, is that important? You know what I heard the Lord say? Look it up. Let me show you what 416 means. And then let me tell you what he told me to do. Now, here, here we go again. You will be judged for every idle word you speak. Whenever you, uh, you accuse anyone, remember, you're accusing yourself. So you better be careful. And I'm going to, by the way, did you know you two re-released the, the song one? Go look on the YouTube. Uh, YouTube. They re-released one. Go look at the cars, male and female, going opposite directions crashing. I'll show it to you in just a sec. Anyway, the Lord said, look up 416 after that dream. I looked it up. It means to be blown by the wind. And I'm like, well, the Bible says, so are those who are born of the spirit. They're blown like the wind blows from where it cometh and where it goeth. You know not. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. It's like the wind, you know, from not from where it cometh or where it goeth. That's like being born of the Holy Spirit. Well, when I looked it up, I'm like, okay, that's cool because I never really know where I'm going. The Lord's going to send me here or over there. I don't know. But you know what I heard? Type in YouTube, Blown by the Wind. Well, actually, I thought I actually knew what it was going to be. I was wrong. It brought up a song named Kite, K-I-T-E, 
why don't you pause this video right now and why don't you type in YouTube on on a YouTube U2 kite with lyrics and read the lyrics what it's about it's about it's about the rapture kite it's about like the Holy Spirit those that are blown by the wind who's to know when the time has come around it's exactly what he's talking about he's talking about the rapture go type in you two kite. Okay, that's what 416 meant according to the Lord telling me. So if someone wants to argue with that, go argue with it. Good luck with that. I'll say, I don't think you know who you're talking to. At this point, I'm not afraid to say that. So now let's keep going. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's do a quick, let's do a quick check real quick. Hang on. Okay, let's check in on the folder. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. Here, Now I'm going to make it more like a Quentin Tarantino movie. You know what I'm going to do now? You've already seen the beginning. What? So I've already shown you the, the beginning of the trip was about what? Uh, ser royal servant going to, that's what Marshall means, getting off and exit. 614, which means in gathering. I showed you a text from a lady I didn't know that crashed through my, you know, my protocols, but the Lord told me, go ahead and talk to her. It was about the Lord's gathering us together. I opened up Zephaniah and said, at that time, I will gather you. So, but I didn't tell you about getting coffee here in Florida where I'm at. At the other thing, which I'm not going to tell everybody what I'm doing here until I'm done with it, because I don't want to see somebody show up. That's what happens to me sometimes, and I don't like it. So here we go. Let me show you what happened today. Let me show you what happened. I doc yeah, I documented something today, but it happened just the other day. Let me tell you. I'll just tell you briefly what it was. Uh, I was riding my motorcycle down a road by the beach. I looked over and I saw a coffee shop. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'll go get coffee there one day. And the other day, I decided to take my motorcycle over early in the morning, about 7.30 in the morning. I got on my motorcycle and I cruised over to that coffee shop. And it was closed. And I'm like, bummer. I drove all the way over there. I thought I was going to have a nice hot coffee and get to look at the ocean, the early morning sun. I was like, oh, bummer. But I looked right across the street. There's some people standing outside. It's 7.30, like a little crowd, and I'm like, wonder what they're doing. And guess what? It was a coffee shop. I'm like, oh, cool. I pulled in to get coffee there. I documented it. Let's look at that real quick. Sorry, guys. I got to show you the dream video just to prove that I documented my dream. Then I'll show you the coffee shop. Sit tight. This is the dream I had before to kill Devil Hills. I documented it. As soon as I made my recording and hung up. As soon as I made my recording and hung up. I got a text message at 417. After I just screenshotted that I woke up at 416. There's a very strange name on the text message. I've decided to leave it for the morning. In my dream, I was confronted by several individuals with guns that meant to do me harm. But the Lord spoke to me and told them they would have boils on their face and they instantly broke out into boils. And then I told them on your, on your knees and bow before me. And they all had to bow before me as I walked away. As soon as I made my recording and hung up, I got a text message at 417 after I just screenshotted that I woke up at 416. There's a very strange name on the text message. I've decided to leave it for the morning. In my dream, I was confronted by several individuals with guns that meant to do me harm. But the Lord spoke to me and told them 
They would have boils on their face and they instantly broke out into boils. And then I told them, on your, on your knees and bow before me. And they all had to bow before me as I walked away. Okay, and remember in this, I was, I, I was obviously very half asleep, but the, the other part was, and I told him, on your knees, and then I looked at him and said, now kill each other, and I walked away, and they all started killing each other. Well, they all, that group, started killing each other. I knew what it meant that very morning. Let me show you. Okay, so as soon as I would awaken from that dream, you know, or that, that next morning, I'm sorry, when I woke up the next morning and I was listening to that, my message, I was like, that that was such a disturbing dream because, you know, when I said, okay, get on your knees and bow before me, and then the part I didn't include was, you know, then I said, no, kill yourselves, just kill each other. Um, I knew that in the morning when I listened to it, this is what the Lord showed me. <clears throat> Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and know that I have loved you. Because I was kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's where they all kill themselves. They all start killing each other. The hour of testing. So anyway, so I knew that next morning after I woke up and I looked, I was like, God, that was disturbing that, you know, I told him, get down on your knees and I'll kill each other. And the Lord showed me here. Okay, so now, okay, now let's go back to, to I'm in Florida somewhere, top secret, uh, having a, some, a get together with one of my family members. And uh, it's, like I said, it's personal, but on this, even here, it's it's overflowing supernatural watch. Here's the video from today. I know. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I documented this morning. I documented this this morning. This happened yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. What's the message from the beginning? In gathering, 614, in gathering, uh, text message. It's the gathering. Um, everything has been about the gathering on this whole trip. Like I said, it's going to be like a Quentin Tarantino movie. We're going to jump all over the place, and then we're going to wrap it up with the timeline. So just watch. This is where I'm at. I'm in Florida. My son's graduating. And like I said, it's personal. But I'm here. But it's everything. The message is still continuing. Watch. Right here, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Kill Devil Hills. This is a slideshow. I'm going to show you part of this. And then we're going to go into... I'll just start right here. I'll just... I'll just start right where it begins. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, so I came back to document the other day how I ended up here. This is called Gathering Grounds Coffee right there. Gathering Grounds Coffee. I'd actually come over here because across the street, right over there, right over there, 
was a coffee place I saw the other day when I was cruising by. And I was going to come there for a cup of coffee the other morning after all the Zep, uh, Zephaniah 3 and that text message about the gathering and Marshall, Texas, the gathering, 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 gathering. And then I end up here. The way I ended up here is I went over there to get coffee, but it was closed and I was like, that sucks because I made kind of a long motorcycle trip over here to be by the beach and get a cup of coffee and just go check out the beach. And they were closed. But I literally drove about another 10 feet and I looked over to the right and this place was open. I had no idea that this place was called a gathering ground. So the odds about one in a gazillion, kind of like the rock in the creek. Like, yeah, so the kind of process the whole thing is like, what are the odds that everything was about gathering together, everything? From the beginning of the trip, the very beginning, Marshall, Texas, exit 614, the end gathering. That's what started the whole trip. And then everything was gathering, gathering. You know, the whole thing was about gathering everybody together. And then by some bizarre set of circumstances, I ended up at a gathering ground because I was going to go to a coffee shop over there. That's insane. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that folder. I'm going to show you the folder and I'm going to show you the actual screenshots so you can see clear images. Watch. The okay, so watch this. I'm going to show you on my phone so you can see a timestamp. Watch this. Okay, so see yesterday at 9.07 a.m. Gathering Grounds Coffee. That's the name of the coffee spot. Now watch this. And this is me. I went, so I go over there to order coffee and I'm like, I look at the menu. I'm like, gathering grounds? Watch this. Look what's on the table. Seating is for gathering grounds, coffee customers only. <laughs> I was like, dude, you couldn't even think this up. And there's proof. There I am sitting at it. And I just proved to you when that was taken yesterday. And I was going to a totally different coffee shop. Now start doing the math. Start start looking at Triumph 1902. Infinity 110 1902 to clothe oneself with to be properly clothed upon with Christ at his return. 110 to clothe yourself with immortality triumph infinity going to kill devil hills you getting this stopping in marshall royal servant of the lord 416 or 614 in gathering text message gathering zephaniah at that time i will gather my people coffee shop the gathering grounds We're just getting started. <laughs> I told you guys, there's going to be so, the supernatural already right now. I don't know if you understand. You don't even know about the purple yet, sort of. I just kind of set the stage for the purple a little bit. Remember, I told you, I told them, get on your knees. I will make them, let's say they're... I will make them that say, here, let's go to the scriptures. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. The synagogue of Satan, the host body system. Never thought it was that, did you? The synagogue of Satan is the host body system which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them worship before thy feet. I told them, get on your knees in my dream. We haven't even gotten to kill Devil Hills yet. I told you we're going to be all over the map. 
Can you believe how many times you've seen gathering together, clothing yourself with Christ? Don't forget 1902. The Lord had me trade in a motorcycle. Think about that. He told me, get rid of the Royal Enfield. And I was like, you really want me to get rid of it? It was kind of a personal message when you gave it to me. The next day, I, I pulled out of my driveway and my mailbox was open. And I thought, don't be lazy. Shut your mailbox lid. And I'd already said, are you sure you want me to get rid of it? And I pulled out one letter. And it was from Royal Enfield. It said, for your safety, your your motorcycle is being recalled because he's calling back in the Royal Enfield. Oh, the gathering, the calling back in. <laughs> it's like, yeah. By the time we're done here, there's going to be so many intersections, so many cross references. You're going to be like, I got to lay down. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so I went and traded in the Royal Enfield for a Triumph because the Royal Enfield, the we're the we're royalty folks. That's why that song by Lord, I'll never be royals. I can break that song down for you; it'll blow your mind. Again, listen to Kite. You know what Kite by you two? I you know, like I said, you know. Better be careful when you start throwing stones, folks. A lot of people like to run their mouth about other people. I've heard a lot of stuff about me that's not true. A lot of people believe it. Here we go, right here. Kite, right here. Song right here. It's in the show notes. That song right there. Just go look at... You just go look at the... Just go look at the lyrics for Kite. The Lord associated that with 614 in Marshall, blown by the wind. I'm like, the way he does things is beyond your comprehension. It's beyond my comprehension. And I get to see it on a daily basis. And I can assure you, the reason he had me look it up is because that's what it means. The time is coming. It's coming soon. Okay, now, let me just like... Find out where I'm at on this timeline, which isn't very far. <laughs> We're barely getting started. It's already an hour 21. I'll sit, guys, I'll sit here as long as I can. Okay, so there I am. That's yesterday. Again, seating is for gathering grounds, coffee, customers only. Don't you think it's kind of weird that just the other day I said, you know, guys, uh, I've never attached myself to anything and I... And I said, but the Ark, the Ark in Beat City, but the Ark, the Lord has told me, he had me go build a bathroom there. He had me inject some funds there. He had me, the, you know, attach myself to it. It's called the Ark. You know, like Noah's Ark, Ark, Angel Refugee Center. Y'all getting all this? Have you noticed how many supernatural intersections have already happened? <laughs> have you like, it's like, okay, I'm going to try and like slow down a little bit. Let me regroup, see where we're at. I wish I could just, you know, watch everything so far that is on this reel, but I can't. It'll totally mess it up. But um, I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so here's what I'd like to do right now. Now, net. Now I've just kind of thrown a pile of info out at you. That's that's the only place we're at right now. I just kind of made a mix mosh of stuff showing you that through the whole thing up until today, the, the message is the same. Gathering, 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 gathering. 1902, clothe yourself, be clothed upon with Christ at his return. Uh, infinity, one, triumph, 1902, to be clothed with Christ. Uh, infinity, 110, to be clothed with immortality. Marshall, royal servant of the Lord, uh, blown by the wind, uh, uh, four, uh, four, six, or 614, uh, to be blown by the wind. The Lord associated it with a song called Kite. It's about the rapture. Um, then, 
a text message, uh, the gathering, uh, Zephaniah 3, the gathering. At that time, I will gather you uh, from everywhere you've been scattered. Uh, coffee uh, gathering grounds. You starting to get the message already? Okay, well, we're just getting started. I haven't even gone to Kill Devil Hills yet. Now I'm going to pick that. Now, okay, here we go. Now I'm going to pick up. Maybe I should change the color of my hat. Maybe I'll swap colors. So you guys can like go, okay, here's a new part. So now we're going to pick up the road to Kill Devil Hills. I've left Marshall, Texas, and I'm driving to Birmingham was my first stop. Okay, Birmingham. When I got to Birmingham, I, I, I was really concerned about having a place to park my vehicle and to have enough room for... The motorcycle trailer, it's really hard to back up a little trailer. I mean, it is impossible. And with a motorcycle on it, it's, it is so, you can't see it. There's no way to see it. And when you turn, it's just, it's the hardest thing I've ever backed up. So anyway, I wanted to have a place where I could just pull in, park, and then pull out. So uh, there is a, Corey found me a place downtown Birmingham. And when I pulled in there, uh, when I went to the front desk, I'm going to change my hat so I have a different little different color thing going on. When I when I went to the front desk, the the guy at the front desk, I knew something wasn't quite right. I have the discerning of spirits. He looked at me and goes, "Mr. Clack, I've taken the liberty of upgrading you, of upgrading you. I gave you a corner room. It's a nicer room. It's bigger. I hope you don't mind." I was like. You've taken the liberty of upgrading me. Okay. And he goes, no extra charge. I'm like, okay, thank you. And so let me show you that now. I'm going to, maybe I'll just make a little color change here. Okay. A little hat color change. So if you're watching the video, you can remember, oh, I got to the part where he changed his hat color. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> color code it. Okay, so here we go. So let's see. Okay, I'll get back to Ledger in a minute, but here we go. On the way there, I took some pictures on some vehicles. I'd like to share those with you. This is an image of the rose. Someone says, pray the rosary. Let me show you some real quick. Watch this. Do you know what you're looking at? Do you know what this is? It's a, it's on the car. It's somewhere it said, pray the rosary. You see, it's like the virgin, right? It's a snare trap. It's a snare. It says, pray the rosary. The virgin is a snare. See it? Yep. It's a snare. It's a, it's a trap. It's a lasso snare. Here's another one. This, this one's really sick. Watch this. It says, eat local. Eat local. Can you see what it is? It's supposed to be a mother breastfeeding. See the, the face of the mother and the breast and the baby's head? Eat local. Do you understand what that is? That's cannibalism right in your face. Now, y'all remember, now don't forget, remember the video I just showed you guys. The, um, the, the video yesterday, remember how that video, that, that COVID uh, series, whatever, uh, it's all it's all about cannibalism, right? Okay, if the first children that were ever born were named Cain and Abel, cannibal, what do you think their natural thing is, our enemy, the ones that are destroying God's angels? Cannibal, cannibal, Cain and Abel, cannibal. So wouldn't it be absolutely just normal for the manifestation of that race of beings at the end of the cycle to be cannibals. That's what's coming for the earth. Cannibalism. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. I can see it. It's cannibalism. Cain and Abel. The whole world is cannibalism. It's spiritual. Cannibalism. Why do you think Marina Abramovic, the witch of Hollywood with Debbie Harry, they make identical twin cakes of themselves because they know it's a twin system and they know that the evil evil you eats the good you, double you, just like I showed you. You, the, you don't think they know it? 
That's why they make identical twin cakes of themselves and they cut out their own heart and eat it because they're cannibals. That race is cannibals. So at the end of the world, once once the church leaves, what do you think is going to happen? Cannibalism is going to be out front. Guaranteed. 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 Because they're cannibals by nature. That's what they are. You just couldn't see it because it was cannibalism on of spiritual stuff. But it will manifest into the physical. I guarantee it. It's their nature. It's their nature. Okay, quick restroom break. And then, no, let's just have a little chat. I'm, I went to black. I think I'm, I'm more about the black matching, a little more matching. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. So, remember when Lady Gaga said, my performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race? Well, what's happening to the other race? So there's, there's a new race. That means there had to be another race. What is happening to the other race? Well, what races are we talking about? Well, what's the Vatican? It's a big serpent, right? That What's in the mouth of the serpent? A sheep. So the serpent race is eating the sheep race inside of us. Who was our boss? The lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Oh, now it's all very clear, isn't it? Oh, the Twin Towers. I get it. The Twin Towers. But see, they do it in secret. It's all hidden, just like, you know, Debbie Harry and Marina Abramovic with their little sick, twisted mocha gala eating cakes of themselves, cutting out their own heart out of a cake and eating it because they're so cool, because they're laughing at you because they, they're the serpent race, right? Well, if they do it in secret then they can get over you. But I'm here to kill the freaking devil for everybody. I'm here to do it because exposing to lay bare his kingdom like the Lord showed you at the beginning, that's what I would be doing. That's why the text message I had, Zana Voyer 30 uh, or whatever, 66, whatever it was. Let's look at that number again. So Zana Voyer 305, what is it? Uh 1566 uh, means to lay bare and completely expose. That's what I did was lay bare and completely expose his kingdom. Now remember, Debbie Harry and her little pals that that do their little uh, parties like Marina Abramovic. Let's take a look. Now let's do a little education. Here's the whole system. Here's the Egyptian system. This is what God's people got caught in. We got caught in the, the whole trap, like the pyramids, three pyramids. That's what's on Adidas clothing, you know, three pyramids. Because this is their system. They're the originals. So let's look at their look let's look at their God system here. Here they are. Okay, so male, female. One's right side up, one's upside down. Here's the soul of the one that's destroyed. So they're it's a twin system. So Oh, hang on one sec. Where'd that go? Oh, no. Hang on. Here we go. And see, there's Marina Abramovic with Robert De Niro, who thinks he's cool. So remember Robert De Niro when he was up on stage at the Oscars or one of those stupid award shows? And he puts his arms up like that and he says, F Trump. What's he doing? He's really doing Nut, the Egyptian pantheon of gods right here. Uh, the, the goddess Nut. Right side up, upside down. Male, female. Arnold Schwarzenegger is doing it. It's on the Hoover Dam. The Ian Bud Light twins. See, who are the first twins? Cain and Abel. See, everything now the Lord's taught me is perfect. And he's wrapping it up. <laughs> I told you. Look at this. Look at this. See, Cain and Abel. Cannibal. One eats the other. Okay, now here's the Targum Jonathan. And I've, I've proven this is the exact same thing, breaking down the words of the Bible. And Adam knew Hava, his wife, Eve, who had desired the angel. That's the angel of the Lord. Uh, that's Satan in the flesh, the serpent race. And she conceived and bare Cain. And she said, I have acquired a man, the angel of the Lord. And she added to bear from her husband, Adam, his twin, even Abel. Cain and Abel were twins. No question about it. Here's the system. This is you. There's a good you, and there's a bad you. The bad you is a vampiric you, and it vampires the good you. 
it sucks the life out of the good you and that's what's that's the mystery of the whole world inside of you you have your own freaking vampire that's why johnny boy the guy talking to you had vlad eyewear vampire sunglasses and i'm falling out of the sky upside down with fangs on and then i look like i'm crucified sky surfing with the space shuttle discovery that's one in a hundred trillion, especially knowing that that's the actual system. What are the odds that I have fangs on and I fly up and I kiss a girl with fangs on? Who does that anyway? Who flies up and kisses some girl going 120 miles an hour? I did. Who kisses a girl with fangs on going 120 miles an hour? I did. Who kisses a girl with fangs on while you have fangs on and then she knocks your glasses off and the second she does, you to have to turn over and do a barrel roll and fly on your back because you can't see because you have 120 mile an hour winds going in your eyes and your eyes are fluttering like shades just brrr, like shutters i did because it, the lord made sure it happened i mean you can't argue with this <laughs> i've got all the proof it happened the videos in the show notes y'all have seen it why is marina abramovic sitting there in front of a like a glass top uh, table looking at her own reflection right side up and upside down. Why is uh, Debbie Harry and Marina Abramovic cutting out the hearts of their own twins, eating them in front of everybody? I know. Here's their big secret. Why does Marina Abramovic have parties uh, where she mixes breast milk, semen, urine, and blood, and then she writes on the wall with a sharp knife, Cut deeply into your left middle finger of your left hand and eat the pain. You know why? Because if we go like that, there's your middle finger. What's it make? A V and a V. It makes a W. Eat the pain. You know why? Because that's what they eat is pain. What do you think the angel in the bottomless pit feeds on? Your soul when you died. You don't think it's painful? It's eternally painful. I know all their secrets now. That's why I was sent to kill the devil. Got it. See the letter W? Look how they made it. Look how she made the W. That's how she starts her little spell. See? She makes a W and makes an X in the middle. X female chromosome, sex chromosome. Gotcha! <laughs> hey, Marina. How does it feel to be bitch slapped? <laughs> Too bad. YG. Why is there a guy named YG? Well, his real name's Kevon Davon something whatever. He named himself YG. You know what? Because Y is 26, uh, right? Y26 and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 26. Or, or no, let's see. Sorry about that, 25. YG, 257. Let's look it up. I know all your little secrets, guys. Y'all are screwed. Oh, uh, there, there you go. Brother of an intelligent one. Brother of an intelligent one. So he's saying, he, because everybody wear red. Look, one, two, three. How many times? One, two, three. What's the number three? Angel of the bottomless pit. What's he doing? Sitting in a bathtub full of blood. Blood bath. Do you get it? What blood bath? Their race killing our race. The demonic race killing the angels. Told you. <laughs> go, go, go. I love it. I hate bullies. YG, you're bullying. You got what you got coming, bro. Sorry. Time's up. Time's up movement. They wore it on the floor of Congress when Trump was inaugurated. They wore that. The, they wore those pins right here. You know why? It makes an X, see that it makes an X, and then the black arrow representing male and female. Time's up. You know why they underline the TIM? Two lines, just like the Twin Towers, one, two. You know what Tim, Tim, Tim is? Timothy is God, honoring God. They're honoring their God. And see, up, like our time's up, and they know it. Why do you think there's a clothing line called Broken Promises and it's a rubber doll? Look, what is this? It's like a blow up or like a rubber dolly. See, it's a female rubber suit. What's coming out of it? A demon, Broken Promises. It's what's inside that counts. The other race of beings, the female host body was used as a trap for angels. I have nothing against females at all. I think the female body is 
spectacular. And you know what? It's like that's what got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> that's what got us all in a lot of trouble. Why is there a girl hunting a guy? And why is her shadow a big bug? You know why? Because it's true. Okay, so now we'll just kind of leave this for later. A little education there. Let's go back. Debbie Harry. Demons summoned to save mankind from itself. There you go, Debbie. That sounds awesome. Okay, now let's get back to, uh, we're just cracking the thing. Oh, let's get to Mr. Cleck. Mr. Cleck, Birmingham. I think it's called the Emory or something, the hotel. Mr. Cleck, I've taken the liberty of upgrading your room. I hope you don't mind. It's it's a bigger room and it's in the it's in the corner. It's got a king side king bed. I'm like, I could look at the guy's eyes and I knew something wasn't right. So 507. I wonder what 507 is in the Bible. They love mocking us. Let's look up at 507. Up from above, from the heavenly region. You don't think they know they're hunting angels? Why do you think there's a, a YG, a brother of an intelligent one? Why do you think YG has a, a clothing line called 400? Hunted for dinner because it's the word, the word hunted is a twin. It's hunted one way, H U N N I D, and then the other way, it's D I N N U H, hunted for dinner. The word itself is twins. Get it? Hunted for dinner, twins. You look at the word one way, it's hunted. The other way, it's dinner. Hunted for dinner. Twins. Told you. <laughs> I got them. Got them. Got them. Just freaking got them, dude. From above, from the heavenly realm. That's me. And they know I'm an angel. That's why they're hunting me. So let's take a look at what room they gave Johnny. Let's see what they were really nice. So. I took a picture here. Let's see. Let's take a look at this picture. I want to show you the bathroom. It's got this yellow glass door. Kind of interesting. Now, you see that toilet paper on the back right there of that commode? Let me ask. This was one of a, a very nice hotel. I was like, wow, this is old-timey, really nice. But you know what? They never leave toilet paper on the back of a commode. They'll put it under the sink. They'll put it somewhere else. They'll just make sure there's a full roll in there on the thing. They made sure that roll, Mr. Kleck, I've taken the liberty. Don't forget, we're going to look at the Statue of Liberty has everything to do with Kill Devil Hills. We haven't even gotten there yet, guys. I told you, you're going to be overwhelmed with data and supernatural like it hasn't already happened. But just get ready. It's going to overflow you like a wave. Okay, so my first stop was Marshall, Royal Servant. Exit 614, blown by the wind. The Lord said, look it up. He, I literally heard the Lord say, look up, you two, blown by the wind. And it brought up Kite. And he's like, that's what I wanted you to see. So watch it. What does it mean? Also, 614, in gathering. Oh, no. Yeah, 614, in gathering. The other, the other one uh, was from my dream. Look up. Look up uh, 416. Isn't that wild? 416 is the opposite of 614. I wonder what the odds of that are. So 416 from my dream is the opposite of the exit. 416, 614. <laughs> I can't keep track of it. Okay, let's get back to the room. Why did they upgrade me? Why did he say I've taken the liberty? Just because like angels took the liberty with the daughters of men. He knows I'm an angel. Well, let's take a look. wonder what's in the bathroom. Why do you give me this cool room? Why do you say so? As you open the door, there's one picture on the wall and there's toilet paper on the back of the commode, which is really strange, especially in a hotel that nice. Let's look at the picture on the wall, huh? There's a suitcase, uh, you know, like maybe for a bunch of angels that left home. Well, it's a hotel. Well, you know, you show up with your suitcase. But if they know you're an angel... And they upgrade you to a room that's 507, which means from above, angel from the heavenly realm. So he's putting me in a room, 507, that means basically from heaven. That's, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what the odds are. 
since that's exactly right, I am an angel, and I am from heaven. I got trapped in the flesh. Let's take a little more. Let's. Wow, does that say 9-11 on the clock? It does. So there's an alarm clock, a bell ringing with 9-11 on top of my suitcase. He's not mocking me, is he? Wait till you see all the mockeries in these show notes. Wait till you see how many times this kind of stuff's happened to me on this trip. It's insane. They know I'm here. They know. The Bible says the demons know your name. Okay, let's take another closer look. That's not 9-11, is it? Yeah, it's 9-11. So they have 9-11 on top of a suitcase. And I wonder what you wipe your butt with. Oh, Angel Soft. That's convenient. So let's see. He gave me a room that means from from above. I'm from above. Um, he In the bathroom, there's a suitcase with a couple books like you took a trip. And on top of it is a clock with 9-11 Angel of Obama's bed. And you wipe your ass with Angel Soft toilet, toilet paper. Nah. <laughs> kill the devil hills i don't forget that's my first place to spend the night on the way to kill devil hills uh-huh yeah hey you're looking at it guys you can't make this up 507 507 there you go let's look at my bed okay ready let me show you a picture you see the sheep? See the eye of the sheep? Eye of the sheep? See the ear of the sheep? See the ear of the sheep? That's a sheep. See the sheep? Letter E. Huh, if you turn it, let's turn that thing the other way. So if you turn it upside down the other way, it's a sheep too. Oh, wow. You know, like, ready? A, B, C, D, E. Oh, the number five? Number five? <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> what? So there's an E on the pillow for the hotel, Emery. And there just happens to be dead sheep right side up and upside down? No big deal. <laughs> Busted. That's a sheep, guys. Yes, it is. Just like Arby's is a sheep. Uh-huh. So you're looking at it. This is my bed. See? Uh, a couple X's above, but, you know, I'm not going to make an issue of the toilet paper of the wallpaper but there you go you got your 911 on top of your suitcase you got your right side up upside down sheep with the number five right in the middle just hidden is the letter e right in front of your face for those that can't see it and we haven't even gotten to kill devil hills which is just showing up at kill devil hills right here and here I am just driving over the water to Kill Devil Hills. And we're an hour 47 minutes into this. I got two to three hours at least. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many times I've had them mock me like that? Hey, they act like they're doing something nice for you. You know what? I'm just going to show you one of those things since we're talking about it right now. So here where I'm at in Florida... Uh, I went to this Mexican restaurant right here by the hotel. They, so I go there. Let me let me show you that real quick. So I'm going to show you the mockeries real quick. Let's do the mockeries real quick. Just a couple in a row. Watch. We'll do those. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Because there's, there's a pretty good handful of them. It's like they love mock. They think they're mocking me. They don't know that I know, though. So let's see, here's one. The guy comes and hands me an iced tea and he puts one, two lemons in it, you know, like twins. I With the sword there, did you know I looked at other people's drinks and guess what? They didn't have two lemons with a sword in it, but I did. You know, like twins. There you go, that's how we took you out, buddy. Here you go, Angel. Here's an iced tea. Who gets two lemons with their iced tea anyway? It's kind of weird, right? I was like, oh, okay. Well, let me show you a picture of the devil real quick. Okay, so 
You see the devil right here? Here's an image of like a, a devil face from the movie The Mummy. Uh, here's an image of a devil face. Let me show you. Let me show you a better one. I like. Let's see right here. I like this one right here. There you go. This is pretty good, right? Just take a look at those. There you go. Here's the devil. Here's a devil. Here's a devil. Here's a devil. Let's look at this one right here. Okay, that's uh, that's where they gave me the iced tea. I just turned it upside down because I see their world. That's really the devil. Those who try and hide their plans turn everything upside down. We got carried away captive as angels into their system. We got turned upside down. We're in their world. They have a whole world right in front of your face. It's upside down. You just couldn't see it. I'm exposing it. I'm killing the devil for you. <laughs> By exposing his case. That's the devil, folks. It it may look like a vato wearing his sombrero. Ole, wey, que esta haciendo, nombre? Yo soy el pinche diablo, wey. <laughs> Check it out. What's up? Let's look at, let's just look at it solo for a sec. There you go. That's cool, right? Is that the devil? Is that the devil? Is that his eyes? Is that a mustache? Is that his jaw? Is that his horns? It is. That's where they gave me my iced tea. Now, remember, I told you they love to mock us with the double U, right? Let me show you my tacos real quick. They brought my tacos out like this. I was like, uh, that's kind of weird. I took them off that. And let me show you my little. There you go. <laughs> and then I went to uh, get a coffee and this very Nelly fella. I'm just saying. Got nothing against you. That's okay. That's your thing. But um, he was pretty Nelly. And he looks at me, right? He goes, here, here's an extra sugar. I was like, oh, let me show you that sugar real quick. Let's see if I can show you that one. Let's zero in. He was very specific about here. Here, I gave you an extra sugar. Why did you give me twin sugars hooked together? What, does he save those for when an angel walks up? <laughs> I was like, okay. Let me show you a little sign at Kill Devil Hills Grill. The Kill Devil Grill. Why are the eyes dotted with the eight-pointed star of Lucifer? Anyway, we got a lot of stuff to unpack here. <laughs> Everywhere I go, they try and mock me. They try and do it in the most subtle way. But you know what? The serpent was the most subtle of all the beasts of the field, which the Lord got him. Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture for you. Why would you draw a picture of me with a dead sheep on my face? Why would you draw a picture of a dead sheep behind my ear? There's the eye. There's the ear. There's the other ear. There's the nostril. There's the open mouth. So... Why has that happened to me not once, not twice, but why did my own wife hand me a card with the sheep? And if I put the serpent right here upside down, the serpent's up, there's the eye of the serpent, there's the open jaw. Here's the sheep. Let's just rotate the sheep right now. And here's here's an actual serpent right here eating an egg right here. Here is this serpent right here that's upside down. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the mouth open. It's eating that sheep right here. I just turned the sheep upside down. How come I can see all this stuff? I'll tell you why. Because I'm the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. And I'm here to tell them their days are numbered. See, why is there a serpent right here? I just made the eye very visible to make it super easy. I even like the way that they did the stretchy skin on the jaw. And all you got to do is turn your head like I'm turning. There's the sheep right there. There's the eye of the sheep. There's the ear of the sheep, top of the head. There's the eye. There's the mouth. There's the line in the mouth. There's the bottom jaw. So see, I can see their little hidden bullshit world. They're done. Their time's up. This is the time of the gathering. God's people. <laughs> All right, dude. This is so cool. Uh, you know, and I'm sorry 
way, but you've been they've been killing us all day long. Let me say something. Why do you think Jesus was crucified and it said there was darkness over all the land from the six, from the sixth hour? What would be the twin of six? A nine. Six and nine. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land. Six represents the flesh. Unto the ninth hour. Ninth is judgment. Flesh and judgment. Six nine. That's why that's in the Bible, guys. Matthew 27, 45. Because the Bible was letting us know you're trapped in a twin system. The flesh is judgment. 6, 9. Yes! Yes! All oh, glory to the King! Jesus died on the cross so we could know this. We had no chance. We were done. We were done. Boy, do I love Jesus. My goodness, you talk about loving you with an unfailing love. Uh, let me show you another picture. Hey, another guy. Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. What's up, man? You guys are cruising me or what? There's a sheep on top of my head. See, see, there's the eye of the sheep, nose, tongue. And then there's a goat on the back of my head. Why would you put a sheep and goat on the back of my head? Well, those are the two races, the sheep and the goats. Jesus said, I'll judge between one sheep and another, separating the sheep from the goats. What's, another, what's a five-pointed star when you turn it upside down? It's a synagogue It's a synagogue of Satan. It's a five-pointed star. Upside down is the Church of Satan, synagogue of Satan. Church of Satan really represents all the host bodies that have been turned upside down that worship Satan. Synagogue of Satan. The host body system. There it is. Why do you think someone would draw a picture of me like that? It's twins, sheep and a goat. One facing one way, one facing the other way. Here's the key. It's all about twins. The whole thing. Bible from beginning to end. It's about a twin system. That's it. And getting reconciled. Why do you think Jesus was crucified between two different guys? Twins. Representing, fixing the twin system. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a double you. They love the double U. They love the double X too because two X is female chromosome. I mean females uh, sex chromosomes. So here's a here's a here's a cover for a, for a movie called It's a Mad 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 World. See it? You see the two palm trees? Okay, in the movie, this great treasure is buried beneath the is right. In, buried beneath the center of those two trees. Watch this. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do it right in front of you. Watch this. It's um it's a um, mad 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 world. Watch this. 19 say okay, ready? Here we go. Let's see is this Wikipedia? Here we go. Just watch. In 1963 comedy film, uh, blah, blah, blah. The film starring Spencer Tracy with, a, with an all-star cast is about the madcap pursuit of 350 in stolen cash. And it's, it's hidden under, you know, b b beneath those two trees where they intersect. So 350, let's look it up. In the let's look up 350 in the Bible. Anna Crino. Anna Crino. That's the word I told you. It's all about Anna Crino. Watch this. Anna up uh, by completing a process. Crino to select by separating and judging. Properly to distinguish by vigorously judging down to up. That's it. That's the whole story of the whole Bible, Anna Crino. I'll prove it. First Corinthians 2. First Corinthians 2, watch. <laughs> this, is, this is the mystery of everything, guys. Anna Crino shows the process involved. Hang on one sec. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I'm getting so excited because I know I got him. <laughs> I got him, dude. We haven't even got to kill the hills. First Corinthians 2. First Corinthians 2. Ready?
But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. So here you go. Ready? Every single false prophet hunter, every naysayer, everyone that said anything just wrong or detrimental about me, let me tell you something. This scripture is for you. You think you're judging me? You just judged yourself. It says it right here. Watch. He that is spiritual judgeth anacrino properly to scrutinize, investigate anacrino, closely examining to distinguish by vigorously judging down to up. That's all I do. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to all you guys that thought you were judging me. Okay. But the natural man that likes to throw their comments at Johnny receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them. Neither can he know them. To know absolutely. Neither can he know them, perceive or be sure of. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Anna Crino told you. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. So he that is spiritual judgeth all things. But he himself is judged of no man. So any one of those shills that thought you were judging me. Leaving your comments. I got a scripture for you. 1 Corinthians 2.14 for who has known, who has known, who has known, look at this. Hang on, who has, watch this. For who has known to know absolutely the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, question mark, but we have the mind the intellect, watch this, to know absolutely of Christ. So see, I know absolutely I have the mind of Christ. And if you've done this and you know to turn every, you know to honor, you know everything, you have the mind of Christ too. We've been switched from this to this. That's what honor, Crino is, baby. <laughs> yes! Royalty. <laughs> Just take a moment and absorb this for a sec. Just enjoy the victory for a sec. Do you understand what's being delivered here? <laughs> Do you understand what's being delivered here? He that is spiritual judgeth on a crino what properly to distinguish vigor vigorously by judging down to up by taking that other twin and flipping it. Why do you think the virgin is a dead sheep? See, the image of the virgin is twins. It's a virgin one way, it's a dead sheep the other way. It's a, uh, Marina Abramovic, her and her cake, twins. Debbie Harry, her and her cake, twins. The altar of the dead sheep in the Vatican, male and female reproductive systems, twins, right side up, upside down. Male right side up, female upside down. See, they put a female energy into us and we're two opposing energies within one host body and we're at odds with ourselves. <laughs> it's resolved, guys. The greatest mystery in the world is resolved. We haven't even gotten to Kill Devil Hills yet. <laughs> in order to do Kill Devil Hills, we have to have a whole lesson on the Statue of Liberty. Because, see, the Statue of Liberty represents the whole system. It represents everything. The Statue of Liberty is a statue of destruction of God's angels. That's what it is. The Statue of Liberty is a statue of the destruction of God's angels. That's exactly what it is. The Lord's let me understand it exactly. I know exactly what it is. It's a transmutation circle. She's standing on top of a a geometric figure called a hindecagram, and that represents the host body system. It's called a kelepot. I've got it all in the folder. And it's all about taking a five-pointed star, which is an angel, a head, arms, legs. That's why it's a five-pointed star. Head, arms, legs. That represents one of God's angels. And you put them in a kelepot, which is a host body, and you turn them upside down and they're destroyed. That's how you do it, if you're one of them. Lady Gaga, my performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. 
What happens to the other race? Oh, the sheep, we kill it. We kill the sheep and the serpent eats them. So, and then we birth our new race and take over the world. That's what she forgot to finish with. They're taking over the world right now and they're going to do it. Guaranteed. And then they're going to kill each other. Self-destruct. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> Oh, man, this is just so heavy. It's so insane. Okay, so it's a mad, 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 mad world. Watch this. Let's look up the posters for it. Ready? Let's look up the posters for it's a mad, 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 mad world. Watch. You know you know what you're looking at right here? What's going to happen in the end? See that right there? I can see exactly what it is. That's a scorpion. This is a scorpion coming out of the earth. The earth is birthing. It's a scorpion. That is a scorpion. There's the stinger. There's the tail. There's the leg. Here's the claw. This is a scorpion coming out of the earth. The earth is birthing a scorpion. See the stinger? Look at the stinger right there. If you had negative imagery, you could see this very quickly. There's the tip of the stinger, the bulb on the tail, the tail. Here's the back leg. Here the legs are leg, leg, leg and then he's got his claw here he's going for this guy and they're all chasing the money bags because that's the big joke they're all chasing the money and here's the girl watch this watch this ready one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven people in decagram eleven pointed stars same thing as the statue of liberty look one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven people. Look, two V's intersecting. V and V. Told you right there. There it is. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Told you. <laughs> Where's the here's the treasure right here? Where's the treasure? Right underneath the where the intersection of the two V's is. Even in a I told you. Every time I do this. That's where the treasure is, in between the two. <laughs> Told you. Oh, I know, that is the same as the Statue of Liberty right there. That's, this is the whole thing. I mean, I, sorry, I'm beside myself. It's like, the Lord God let me solve the greatest mystery ever solved. I can prove it all day long now. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh. Okay, so let me just slow down. Let's just, okay. Let me reel myself back in. So, yeah, so again, why are people drawing, why are people putting dead sheep on me? Why is my own wife handing me a card with the serpent eating the sheep? Did you know what she said? She said, I just want the old Johnny back. The old Johnny was a rascalian, man. A rascalian, rascalian. Okay, a uh, miscreant. A miscreant rascalian. Or scallion, a rascal. Oh yeah, I mean you know, uh, you know, yeah. Before you get converted, I mean, you'll do whatever the enemy tells you to do if he wants you to do it. I'm telling you, man. There's a dead sheep behind my ear. Why would someone draw a dead sheep behind my ear? Well, there's only one reason. If it's the serpent race hunting me, and Alex, the guy that did it. He's like, hey, I drew a picture of you because the serpent race was running him. And just like when I went to the hotel in Birmingham, hey, we upgraded your room. Yeah, it's all the same. What's the, what's the difference between handing me a pack of sugar, a double pack of sugar and drawing a dead sheep? The answer is nothing. You're still hunting me. You're still manifesting. Why do you think... Uh, why do you think Pink Floyd, I wish you were here, has one guy shaking another guy's hand and he's he's bursting into flames? Look, what about Debbie Harry, right? I was talking about remember I was talking about Debbie Harry and and her and her, her little her little buddy Mar Marina Abramovic having the little twin party, right? Watch this. Watch this. Okay. There they are having their little twin party, right? Where they're making cakes of themselves, see? Debbie Harry, Marina Bronovic, cake of Debbie Harry, cake of Marina Bronovic, cutting out the hearts. Okay, watch this. 
Y'all know how many people were killed in the Twin Tower attack? Okay, now here, watch this. See, the whole thing is they were doing the killing in secret. And they were killing you without you knowing it. That was the big thing. They're murdering you from the inside. And that's what, that is the big secret they couldn't let get out. That's why the Lord sent me to kill Devil Hills. Because you're looking at the guy that the Lord God used to kill the devil. And when I say kill the devil, what I mean is his system is no longer hidden. It's easy to see now. And the Lord God allowed me to be the guy that would re reveal his kingdom. Watch this. 2977, secretly, privately, done in secret. It means secretly and privately, done in secret. See, because they were able to murder you in secret, you know, just like uh, just like uh, Lady Gaga, my performance of the Grammy Awards about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race because they're murdering you in secret, right? So the Twin Towers, it's a twin system, Good you and a bad you, double you. So because they're doing it in secret, they can get away with it all day long. No longer. Watch this. Watch this. How many people died in the 9-11 attack? 2,900 people. What does it mean? 2,900. Wait, where'd it go? Hang on one sec. 2,900. Okay, here you go. Watch. Let me slide this over here. I just kind of lost place where things were. How many people died in the Angel of the Bottomless Pit attack? 9-11, Angel of the Bottomless Pit. How many people died in the 9-1-1, Angel of the Bottomless Pit attack? 9-1-1 is Revelation 9-11. They had a king over them. Who had a king over them? The, the insects from the pit. The insects from the pit have a king over them. His name's Abaddon, Apollyon, the Angel of the Bottomless Pit, Satan. So how many people died in the King Satan attack? That's what 9-11 is, Revelation 9-11. It says they had a king over them. Who had a king over them? The locust from the pit. So 9-11 is Satan is the king of the locust attack. So I'm just going to change the words. How many people died in the 9-11 Satan is the king of the locust attack? 2,977 people. What's that mean in the Bible? done secretly, done in private, hidden. Told you. Let's see, go back. Done in secret, right there. Secretly, privately, in secret. The whole twin system, Cain and Abel, cannibal, were being cannibalized from the beginning of the end to the beginning of the world to the end of the world. I haven't even gotten to kill Devil Hills to show you how the Lord proved that he used me to kill the devil. We haven't even gotten there yet. We're only in Birmingham. <laughs> Freak out. Can you believe the tacos with the W? Can you believe the two lemons with the sword through it, right side up, upside down? One slid like that, but... I know exactly what they I looked at other people's drinks. I'm like, why don't they have two lemons? Why don't they have a sword through two lemons? Why do you give someone a iced tea with two lemons with a sword through it? You don't. You're mocking them. You're like, gave you an extra sugar. Oh, okay. The serpent was the most subtle of all the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. Subtle. Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Why'd you put the dead sheep on me? Because you're the serpent race trying to destroy me. And I can see you and you're done. Done. This is the gathering. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me just have a little scan on this folder. Why do you think Lady Gaga is birthing a locust? Because who's the king of the locusts? Satan. So why is she birthing? Why is she doing this? She's birthing a locust. Why is Lady look? Why is Lady Gaga wearing this dress? See, I can see what it is instantly. It's a freaking snake. There's the head of the serpent right there, and here's the insect. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the mandible. There's the mandible. Here's the eye of the serpent. Eye of the serpent. There's the tongue of the serpent. So see the serpent race. They look human above ground, but they're just 
they're they're leading everybody into sin and fornication, adultery and all these sins, and then your soul goes to the bugs in the pit. That's the mystery. That's what's being done in secret. That's why the 9-11's attacks are the angel of the bottomless pit attacks on the twin system. Now, now is a good time to watch that trailer again. The one we watched yesterday. And let me show you something about DNA. Okay. I'm going to take a little. I'm going to grab a quick snack. My stomach's a little bit. Huh. Can you guys believe what you're looking at? Can you believe what you're looking at? It's a great, I mean, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. It's a horror movie. We're in a live horror movie. We're in the greatest horror movie you can imagine. But when you're saved, it's like... Now, the other side of the coin is all those people that aren't saved. That's why I'm laying down my life for the well-being of everybody. So, if I wasn't willing to die all the time... I wouldn't be able to do what I do. If you're not willing to die any moment, all day, every day, then you can't do this. Because the enemy will try and keep you in fear by doing what they do. Mm -mm. Let's take a look at this dress. Lady Gaga. Gaga is 7171. 7171 means destruction. A gadfly cometh. Jeremiah. Lady Destruction, Lady Gadfly. Okay, see, no one can argue with me. That is a snake on her dress. See the snake? That is a spear tip going through what would be her vagina, representing a penis, and the penis is going right into the mouth of a bug. Isn't that crazy? Because the largest altar in the world is the exact same thing. The largest altar in the world is in the Vatican. And it is a penis going in the mouth of a bug. Common denominator? Oh, one in about a hundred trillion. It's a fact. Proven it. We'll get to Kill Devil Hills here shortly. <laughs> there it is. That's an insect. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the mental. And see, there, there's that triangle representing her vagina and their spear tip. Where's the spear tip going right into the mouth of the, mouth of the bug? There it is. And just in case anybody needs to make sure that you haven't seen the largest altar in the world, uh, let's prove it one more time. There's the Vatican. It's a snake. There's a snake wearing a crown. There's the split tongue. Let's look at it from the opposite direction. Here it is from the opposite direction. So here it is. It's a snake wearing a crown. Isn't that funny that that just happens to look like something I've seen before? That happens to be the mouth of that serpent. And let's just do it. So let's take right there. That window is that's the mouth of the serpent. This is the mouth of the serpent on the outside of the building. It just happens to be a penis going into a vagina. So the mouth of the serpent from the beginning of the world was a penis going into a vagina. End of story. Original sin. That's original sin. There it is. X marks the spot. So let's take a look at that altar right here. Let's zoom out from the altar. I'll hold this image of the sheep and I'll zoom out. There it is. There's a sheep. That's the window. The whole altar is a big bug. The same as Lady Gaga. There's a, the, the entire wall. The whole thing turns into a bug. See the bug? There the mandibles are, and that altar is a penis going into the mouth of the bug. Absolutely no different than Lady Gaga wearing her dress. And this is one of my favorites that the Lord let me figure out because I now I know a smile from a veil. So you think you can tell heaven from hell. Can you tell a green field? from a cold steel rail. You don't even know if you're out in a green field or if you're behind bars. A smile from a veil. You see that girl smiling? You see that girl smiling right there? You see this? You think you can tell? It's what's behind the skin. Oh, you mean like that rubber suit? 
It's what's inside that counts. Man, got him. <laughs> Pink Floyd, you think you can tell? I can tell. Yeah. And if anyone doesn't think that's a sheep, that altar, take a look at that and tell me that's not a sheep. If everyone doesn't think that's a bunch of angels melting into semen, you're wrong. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> Which is Genesis 1 verse 2. We'll be at Kill Devil Hills in about the next five minutes. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to grab myself a little short snack. I may have to run down to the lobby and grab a little snack. Okay, it's 1127. I'm good. I'm good to go for another couple hours. Let's do it. All right, so check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you guys that trailer that we watched the other night again. Let me show you the Twin Towers first, though. Let me show you the Twin Towers real quick. Let me show you what I've known for a long, long time. I said I did this in videos a long time ago. I told every, I told everybody. These were DNA. These were DNA markers. Giant. The Twin Towers right here, Sam. Those are DNA markers, guys. Those are two DNA markers side by side. Look right here. You see the Statue of Liberty right here? This profile of the Statue of Liberty standing in front of these two DNA markers. The Statue of Liberty represents Thamuel, the goddess of twins. I don't know if y'all know that. I have such an education to give you on this. On this. It is going to blow your mind. The education you're going to get on this. I've done this before, but now I have all the data in. I've done this before, but now I have, I own it. It's like when you do math problems. At first, you can get through it, and you, I own it now. The Lord's let me own it. You see the Statue of Liberty? She's standing in front of these, DNA, here, here like just basic strips are DNA markers. But look right here. You see that? Okay. Watch this. Watch this. You see these DNA panels? These are DNA sequences right here. Sam, look, just look right here. Just look at this right here. Just take a look. See it? Okay, that's called DNA sequencing. Watch this. I'll just put the Twin Towers right here next to this DNA sequencing. But now, let, watch, watch what I'm going to do for you. I go way down here. Remember the, the trailer we saw last night? You see that? No, those are the buildings. I got when I look when I look at these I can't tell that they're not DNA sequences. Look, if you reduce it in size, you totally can't tell that those aren't DNA sequences. Let me prove that to you. Watch, because see that that trailer that I showed you yesterday. They know that the twin towers, which were two represented two different DNA sequences, twin one and then the other DNA DNA. They knew that the enemy's known this all along. So they knew that eventually the two DNA sequences would come together. Can you say COVID? Can you say COVID? Wait till you see the data that I have for you. And we haven't even gotten to kill double hills, but watch. Watch this. Here you go. This is the video from the other night. Right here. This is the video. This is the video. This is the building. This is the building. These are DNA sequences. They know. They know that the end of the road is a zombie apocalypse. They know. Well, that that entity knows. They, the other race. They just manifest it. Check it out. Really, the name of the doctor. Remember the name of the doctor? 
what was his name? This guy right here. Laszlo. Laszlo. They made sure they showed his name. Laszlo. They did it at the 46 second mark. You know why? I know why. Because 23 and 23 is 46. Twin Towers. Why do you think George Bush read Psalm 23 at the memorial for the Twin Towers? 23 and 23. 46. Two DNAs together equals a full host body. Everything the Lord's shown me has been right. All of it. I did a uh, DVD called Crowning the Tyrant. And this was all in it. Okay, watch this. Let's see, where'd it go? Here we go. Hang on one sec. Let me go up here. Zlads, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble with that last name. Here, right here. Laszlo, I'm sorry. Laszlo, glorious rule. So if you had the two twin DNAs turn into one through COVID, the two DNAs come together as one. That's why the twin towers are no more and there is the one world freedom tower because now Satan's got his host body. No more sheep in the body. No more sheep, just serpent. The serpent race gets to take the stage front and center. That's what's going on. Sorry. That's what's going on now. That's why they're doing this trailer watch. Glorious rule. Let's watch the trailer one time. And just remember the DNA panels. Just watch. Everybody thinks the first... I'm sorry. It cut out my voice. Okay, here we go. Listen. Apply DNA to panels. Apply the idea of DNA to this very first part of the intro. Listen to the narrative. Listen to what the first sentence is. Listen to the first sentence. And then know that you're looking at DNA. And remember what's going on right now with the, the COVID thing. Uh, this is what's going on, guys. Guaranteed. Here we go. Watch. Everybody thinks the first sign of zombies and civilization collapses. But nobody barricaded their doors or packed their bags and headed for the hills. This isn't the walking dead. It's reality. This isn't the walking dead. This is reality. This is absolutely right. Okay, we don't have to watch the whole gruesome trailer, right? Those are DNA panels. Oh, Lord, let me prove it. The Twin Towers were DNA panels. And the Statue of Liberty is holding a torch representing burning angels. I'll tell you what we're going to do. That is an entire two and a half to three hour video. The Statue of Liberty... I want you to have the full education and we'll do it with Kill Devil Hills because they run Kill Devil Hills and the Statue of Liberty run hand in hand. Okay, what's the message? Well, from the beginning of the trip to Kill Devil Hills, even to where I'm at now in Florida, the message is the same. It's the gathering. There's no way to get out of it. This is the gathering. There's no way to get any other message. This is the gathering. What gathering? Well, Zephaniah says at that time I will gather my people and um, take us home. 
What happens to those that, that don't get gathered? They get to see what the hour of testing is all about, which sounds pretty scary. But anyway, so if you're not afraid to die, if you once you've been converted, you should know that what death is. Death is the separation from the Lord God. Instead of being one thing, you were made into two things, and you've been separated by your duality. And until you're willing to die to yourself, that's why Jesus said, whoever tries to save his life will lose it. Because if you're trying to save your life, you've already lost. Whoever loses his life will save it. Why do you think the very first thing the Lord had me do was open a door knowing I'd go out and get killed probably? I was like, I'd rather get killed and know the truth. I wanted to know. Okay. I'm going to just like reel it in <laughs> because, you know, I want to... I don't want to just be all over the map. I know I'm a little spazzed out because look at what I'm delivering to you. I mean, do you understand what's being delivered here today? I haven't even gotten to Kill Devil Hills, and I can prove to you that the gathering is coming just by the supernatural miracles that the Lord intersected to show gathering. There's no way that's even possible. But there's so much more. We're just getting really started. I have to do the Kill Devil Hills testimony, and i got to show you the significance of what it means. Even if you looked at the pictures, you would never understand the significance of what it means and the supernatural testimony on what he did, how he did it, and what it refers to. I have to give the testimony. It's like a court of law. <laughs> it's just... Oh yeah. I'm exhausted, guys, man. I'm so tired. I'm so whipped. All right. Um we're at two and a half hours. Let's save the purple shirt for tomorrow. And um I'll do the next two and a half to three hours tomorrow. Um at the very latest, the next day. I'll try and do it tomorrow no matter what, just so all this is fresh. I want to watch this. I want to watch this part of the video myself so I know, you know, what to make sure I don't go over again and I just cram all the other Kill Devil Hill stuff, Statue of Liberty stuff, and the finality of what's about to happen um, without doing too much repeat. The thing about repetition is you got to have it Part of being turned up, the word is literally, ana, it means repetition, intensity, and reversal. You've been programmed your entire life since the moment you opened your eyes. You've been programmed. You think unprogramming happens without repetition? you got to be crazy. So the repetition helps your brain unlock what's been locked into you. So we'll do that tomorrow. All right, guys, God bless. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.